My name is Martin Jensen. I'm a senior scientist at the Department of Food Science, Aarhus University in Denmark. As part of the Climate Food Project, we compared eight cultivars of blackberry uh, in, in uh, organic tunnel production and in conventional tunnel production, and we're here in the organic part. Our aim was to compare uh, these eight cultivars in terms of fruit quality, in terms of yields, in terms of uh, fruiting season, and also plant growth aspects, in including uh, hardiness uh, is evaluated and also aspects of disease control and insect attack. Individual plants were trimmed to six shoots, floy cane shoots per plant, and grown at a distance of 1.5 meters in the row and between rows. Uh, we applied 80 kilo of nitrogen uh, per hectare per year, and in the organic fraction we used pelleted chicken manure and we used liquid fertigation in the conventional trial. The fruiting season of cultivars taken under one started in late July and ended in late October. Um, the, latest, uh, the, the earliest cultivars were Loch Thai, uh, Loch uh, Ness and Natchez, uh, and the latest, latest cultivars were uh, Chester and Navajo. Uh, Natchez and Caraca Black gave the largest fruits, uh, almost reaching 10 grams per fruit, whereas other cultivars were medium, about 5-6 grams per fruit. Um, the overall yield uh, over the season, uh, Chester reached almost 12 kilo per plant, uh, which was very high, uh, and uh, followed by Navajo, Loch Ness, and Loch Tai. So analyzing the uh, plant growth and flowering habit uh, compared to fruit yield suggests that uh, uh, the number of floric cane shoots should be increased in, the, for instance, uh, the cultivar Natchez to improve the overall yield. Helen and Caraca Black were strongly damaged by freezing and cannot be recommended for Danish conditions. Uh, Loch Ness uh, was also damaged somewhat, uh, but will uh, be expected to perform uh, acceptable in normal Danish winters. Um, Navajo, Chester, Loch Tai and uh, uh, Natchez uh, are considered fully hardy in Denmark. The use of biological control methods like predator mites and insect soaps in general manage uh, uh, the attack by insects uh, to an acceptable degree. Um, the cracker black, however, was attacked quite heavily by aphids uh, that reduced shoot growth but also induced uh, sooty mold on the leaves and the fruits. Uh, therefore, this cultivar is not suited for organic production in general. Um, in addition, uh, this cultivar is of the thorny and the trailing type, not favored well very much by workers. While sugar content and total anthocyanin content only varied little between cultivars, the uh, total acidity varied by a factor two between cultivars. Um, a taste preference evaluation uh, made on up to 700 people clearly identified the sweet and mild Loch Ness and Natchez uh, as the most preferred fruit uh, between these cultivars. The visual quality of the fruit was in general very good in the tunnel production, uh, which protected against rain and the development of grey mould. We overall see a strong potential for Danish growers to uh, establish uh, a production of blackberries in an organic uh, way and using tunnels as a new uh, high value berry crop uh, in Denmark. In the future, uh, we also want uh, to focus on uh, uh, reducing the cost and the workload associated with shoot management and the harvesting.